Welcome to the final part in my Mac Venture walkthrough series. This is the last one released for NES, and story-wise it's probably the best one out of all of them. I linked to the walkthroughs of the other games in this series in the description, please check them out. I'll just assume you know how to control these games at this point, so let's just dive right into it. First off, take the coat hanging right in front of you, and the gun hanging behind it. Open the coat and take the coins inside. Open the wallet inside the coat and take the key. Open the door in front of you and move out. Examine the mirror or else you won't be able to leave the room. Open the door and move out. Open the door to the right and move out. Move up the stairs here. Examine the portrait hanging directly to the right of the door. Open said the door and go inside. Open the desk in front of you. Open the envelope inside of it. And examine the bill. Yeah, you don't use spells in this game. You have addresses instead. Exciting, am I right? Use key 1 on the door and move inside. Open the dead guy, i.e. open the pocket of his coat or something, and take the key that he's holding. Open the desk he's lying on and take key 3. And optionally, if you want, take the pencil with you. Open the window and move out. Move up the stairs. Open the window to the right and move in. Here, open the waste basket and take the capsules inside. Hit the button above the waste basket and move inside the elevator. Hit the button second furthest down, move outside and move south using the minimap. Now use coin on the rightmost slot machine. Unfortunately, here you kind of have to gamble. You need about 25 coins or so to finish this game, if you follow my guide exactly. Just keep using the coin on the machine until you win. You might want to save before you start though, just in case you run out. Now there are plenty of ways to get out of this room actually. My preferred method is to go south, back into the elevator, hit the button second furthest up and move out. Now go back to the bar by moving south three times. Use key 3 on the front door and move out. While exploring the town, there are three events that will happen randomly. First, you might encounter a robber. If you do, hit him. The fourth, I think you either have to give him all your coins or the $20 bill and he'll leave you. If you try to hit him again, he'll kill you. Second is a hobo that stops you. Just ignore him. Third is a woman and if you encounter her, just hit her and move away and you'll never encounter her again. Use key 2 on the car and move inside of it. Open the dashboard, examine note 2 inside and take the map. If you want to get the story, examine it. Move outside and move west using the minimap. Continue moving west until you encounter a cab. Move inside the cab, speak to the driver, and tell him to go to west end. Use your coin on the sign that says pay here and move outside. Open the door and move in. Use the car on the slot next to the elevator. Move inside, use the car on this slot and move outside. Examine the picture above the fireplace. Move back into the elevator, use the car again and leave the building by going south using the minimap. Go inside the cab, speak to the driver again, tell him to go to Kediz, Kediz or whatever this time. Use the coins to pay him and move outside. Now use gun on the front door. I guess it's like a key but better. Move inside. Take the note 3 on the desk. Open the desk, take the key and diary inside. If you want to get the story, open the book and read it. Go back to the cab, tell the driver to call the Sharon, pay him and move out. Open the door and move inside the building. Move to the right. Use key 5 on the door and move inside. Now take 1 medicine and 3 medicine 6. They are the following bottles. Use medicine 6 on the capsules and use the capsule on yourself by selecting use, capsules and self above the save option. Do this a total of 3 times. Move back a few screens and move up the stairs. Use the gun on the door and use key 5 to unlock it. Move. Open the cabinet, take file 1 and read it if you want to get the story. Move back to the cab and tell him to go to Peoria this time. Move east back to the car. Go back up the building inside to where you found the corpse. Use note 3 on the safe to the left. Open the folder inside. Take note 1 and examine it if you want. Open the box inside the safe and take key 4 inside of it. Move back outside again. Using the minimap, move here. Use key 4 on the trunk, take the gag from the woman's mouth, use medicine 1 on the capsules and use the capsules on her. Go back to the cab guy and tell him to go to the address you just learned. It's the last one on the list. 
open the mailbox, open the envelope 2 inside, and take letter 1 inside of it. Read it if you wish. Move towards the house, hit the knocker against the door to- OH MY GOD WHAT THE HELL?! HURRY! HIT IT! And <laughs> once that demon is dealt with, move up the stairs, open the door to the left and move inside. Open the night table and take the memo. If you wanna get the gist of the full story, use the pencil on the note and read it. It's little scenes like this that really makes this game story shine. Move back to the captain to go back to Peoria again. Move back to the car, open the manhole and move down. Now move south, middle and south to get to this screen. Here, discard everything you can. This includes the gun, the map, file 5 and note 1. Move north, west, northwest, and north to get back up again. And finally, move east and move into the police station. And if you get this screen, it means you've done something wrong. Either you haven't discarded all the evidence I told you, or it could even possibly that you haven't examined enough of the evidence to understand what the hell is going on. Examine everything just in case. However, should you get a different screen, it means you've beaten the game. Congratulations. And that is the last of the Mac Venture series for NES. And the last one I'll make a guide of. Some of you might say, well, there's Deja Vu 2 for Game Boy, won't you do those? You said you would. Well, if I can figure out a way to rip footage from the Game Boy Advance that doesn't take up several goddamn gigs per second, then yeah. Maybe. Probably not, though. Sorry that this whole series took so long, but I hope you found them informative. Thank you so much for watching.